Good morning and assalamu alaikum everyone. Greetings of peace. This is Sumaya Khalifa with the Islamic Speakers Bureau of Atlanta. It's a true pleasure to have you all this morning and an honor to have Sheikh Nanawi with us this morning as well. Before we hear from him, I just want to ask you all a question and just uh, think about it. Uh, what is the one place that is your happy place? What is the one place that your happy place where you find yourself, where you feel like you're on top of the world, where you feel your best? Think about that and write it down. I have to tell you, my happy place is to be on the Mediterranean Sea, walking on the beaches of the Mediterranean Sea. So whenever there's something going on, I take pictures, I'll look at pictures from that part of the world. And I remember how that made me feel. And I try to make that feeling come back to me. So think about your happy place for today. And throughout your day, please think that you are there. Um, the purpose of our morning inspirations is to uplift everyone. And to help us be uplifted this morning is our own scholar here, right here in the Metro Atlanta area, Sheikh Mohammed bin Yahya al Nanawi. Uh, he is, alhamdulillah, a godsend for the area and for the world. He is a scholar. He is somebody who has been named as one of the 500 influential Muslims all over the world several years. He is an author of the book of love. You should check it out. It's actually very inspirational. He also leads Medina Institute. It's a seminary right here in Atlanta. Uh, Sheikh Nanawi, we are so honored and humbled that you're here with us this morning, and we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much, Sumaya. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillah wa sallallahu ala Sayyidina Rasulullah wa ala ala wa sahbuhu wa ala. Good morning to everybody. It's a true honor and pleasure for me to uh, be here on uh, ISB uh, platform and with the leadership of our mentor and teacher and sister Sumaya Khalifa and her team, her wonderful team. Um, indeed, uh, we are going through some difficult times, but uh, as the Quran always tells us, inna ma'al usri yusra, inna ma'al usri yusra, with difficulty, there's always ease, and with difficulty, there's always ease. Um, the coronavirus is highly contagious, but so are the actions we can take that in, are inspired by love and rahmah. Those are also as contagious, if not even more. Oh, we are reminded yet again with some of the Quranic verses, such as Ya Yuhannas, Taku Rabbakum Waladi Khalakakum min nafsin wahida. In Surat Nisa, the first verse, which means, O oh, human beings, be conscientious of your Lord, who created you all from one nafs, and from it he created everyone else. It reminds us with the prophetic hadith that we are Kalbunyan like building blocks or bricks that all together, all of us as humanity make one house. It reminds us with another prophetic hadith that anasu kulluhum banu adam fi tirmidhi wa adam khalqun min turab aw khuliqa min turab that all human beings are from Adam and Adam is from earth. It shows us lots of things today uh, that reminds us with our, with our total interconnectedness of all, not just us, but all life on this earth. Sometimes we tend to forget this fact, but today we feel more interconnected. The amazing, amazing phenomenon of life and its parallel humbling weakness can inspire wonder and deeper empathy within us and around us. While of course we must heed medical experts to undertake precautionary measures to do our part in trying to flatten the curve and avoid the spread of the virus. But we can also do our best to spread love, to spread happiness, cooperation, positive contribution to help defeat the negativity of the virus and its spread. And how can we defeat the trials put before mm -hmm. us, whether it's by Corona or by anything else? But let's say by Corona today that we're facing. 
the world has changed as we know it in front of before our eyes within the past couple of weeks well first of all by imbibing love and hope from the prophetic character and example in the most difficult of circumstances he sallallahu alaihi wa sallam turned and turned all negativity into positivity he was the source of profound faith unconditional compassion and great hope in the face of the greatest calamities ever to turn away from the footsteps of the prophet sallallahu right now when we need it most is hopelessness and defeat and islam sees hopelessness akin to faithlessness those who are hopeless are those who don't have faith. Today is a moment of having deep faith, going back to faith within Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the loving creator of all. Now is the time to start again with our loving creator, a new page, a new beginning, and rush back to the, to the all loving creator of all. Not out of necessity, but out of love, ikhtiyar. Now is the time to give, not to withhold. Now is the time to share. Now it's the time to care. Now it's the time to fight, and now it's the time to love. It is time to acknowledge people's good intentions and engage others out of love rather than fear. Spread love, spread warmth, spread compassion, spread hope. The times may seem bleak, but we all have the obligation of positive contribution. And the Prophet ﷺ leaves us no choice but to positively contribute and give back. And he tells us in the authentic hadith, Hassan, where if you have nothing to give, then you're at least obliged to smile, for smile counts as a positive contribution if you got nothing else to give. To ensure that we have a brighter tomorrow for all of us. Friends, brothers, sisters, while we uh, are in this world and today what happened in the world, what's been happening in the world is affecting all of us. Well, not all will be infected by the virus. Uh, many will, but all are already affected by the virus. But for a moment, looking past these macro effects can offer us an opportunity to consider how each of us at an individual level can be spiritually renewed in our collective effort to overcome this condition and this disease and to get through this moment. May we all know that we are not alone. The loving creator of all is always with us. He's our refuge. It's time that we turn to him today in a day of need, but also to imbibe strength and hope and positivity and love and sharing and caring and bring that the love of God that he gave us and share it with ourselves and humanity. May you all have a very bright day. Wassalamu alaikum. Wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Thank you. Jazakallah khair, Sheikh Ninawi. This was very beautiful, reminding us of love, compassion, smiling to others. And I um, just want to end our time together with a little mindfulness exercise. And mindfulness is something that would help us all in terms of concentrating better in our salah, in our prayers, concentrating better when we are interacting with our family and friends, just being present. That's what mindfulness is, intentionally being present. And um, so why don't we do that? Um, and the exercise is uh, where people close their eyes and watch the breath. And as you watch your breath coming in and out, think about something that is near and dear to your heart. Maybe what the sheikh mentioned about was to spread love, to spread peace. And we could start by loving ourselves and being at peace with ourselves. So why don't we do that? Let's all close our eyes if you don't mind. And taking a deep breath in. 
in thinking about love, watch your breath as it goes through your body. Thinking about loving yourself. Think about loving your family. Think about your relationship with God Almighty. And just feel the presence of God. Feel the warmth. Think about giving charity, connecting with people. How am I and are you going to do that today? Is it calling somebody and checking on them? Is it checking on a neighbor? Is it bringing toilet paper to a friend that needs it? If you happen to go to the grocery store, do you thank the workers there? Have you thanked the healthcare providers that put their lives on the line every single day? Continue breathing in and out. Think about what is the one thing that I'm gonna to do today to make the world a better place? And as the Sheikh said, that could be smiling or reaching out to people, letting them know that you care and you are there for them. We need that more than ever. All right. This is the end of the mindfulness exercise. Please open your eyes. May you all have an amazing day, a blessed day, a day where you make a difference in your lives and in people's lives. And remember what Sheikh Nanawi said and be inspired by that. And inshallah, tomorrow we will be hearing from Imam Suleiman. And we look forward to seeing you all. And please spread the word to others who might benefit from our inspirations in the morning. Sheikh Nanawi, Jazakallah khair again. Um, thank you all for being here with us this morning. Inshallah, you have an amazing day, and we'll see you here tomorrow. Assalamu alaikum.